Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, rise today to speak on Senate Bill 3, which is a, a measure that will be familiar to most of the members of this chamber. Uh, back in 1998, under the leadership of the Senator from Campbell, who was then a member of the House, the Kentucky Legislature, passed our current informed consent law, which, among other things, requires that a woman who is considering an abortion procedure be informed about the nature of the procedure, about the probable age of her unborn child, about the risks and the alternatives to abortion, and about the availability of medical assistance benefits and other things. This information is to be provided at least 24 hours prior to a procedure and is to be shared in an individual private setting by a designated physician or, or health care professional. The clear intent of the existing law that was passed back in 1998 was to ensure that a woman would have the opportunity to have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone who could share this information and answer questions about the procedure, then have at least a 24-hour period to reflect and consider that information before deciding whether or not to go through with an abortion procedure. Now, providers of abortions have misinterpreted the existing statute and found a way around the intent by using a pre-recorded telephone message to provide the information instead of in-person counseling. This bill will amend the existing law to restore the original intent. A patient would get more consultation than a pre-recorded telephone message before getting any other type of surgical procedure, so it's simply common sense to require a face-to-face -face meeting to ensure that questions can be asked and answered and that a, a woman has a meaningful opportunity to consider that information before going forward and to make a fully informed decision before having what is an, a life-altering procedure. And I think, as the Senator from Boone mentioned earlier, it's most appropriate to have this bill up for a vote on the Senate floor today, January 22nd, which is the 41st anniversary of the Roe versus Wade decision, a day that has been previously termed as the National Sanctity of Human Life Day. So again, uh, move passage of Senate Bill 3.